Hello there! This is Oprah and Scissors! And the Marvel Cinematic Universe consists of a lot of films. I lost count by now, to be honest. With the newest edition being Captain Marvel, which I did not watch and do not intend to watch because it doesn't really interest me that much, but Spider-Man Far From Home does seem interesting. But what I'm here to talk about here is how the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the great success that it became after 2008's Iron Man, is connected to my favorite franchise of all time, Star Wars. Oh, Star Wars, the channel is based on it. But the Marvel Cinematic Universe has a lot of connections to it. And more specifically, it has actors who played in both franchises. Those actors who played in both Star Wars and Marvel films. And today, I'm here to talk about them. Let's begin. Actor Benicio Del Toro played DJ in The Last Jedi and The Collector in Guardians of the Galaxy, The Four Dark World and Credit Scene and Avengers Infinity War. Jon Favreau was the director of Iron Man, the first movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. However, he also played roles in both Star Wars and Marvel. In Star Wars, he was the voice of Rio Durant in Solo A Star Wars Story. Rio Durant was one of the most comical characters there. And in Marvel, he played Happy Hogan, Iron Man's slash Tony Stark's best henchperson. Matt Mikkelsen is an actor who played Galen Erso in Rogue One A Star Wars Story and Cassilius in the Doctor Strange movie. Clancy Brown is an actor who voiced Savato Press in the Clone Wars TV show and was the voice of the CGI character Surtur in For Ragnarok. Donald Glover played young Lando Calrissian in the Solo A Star Wars Story movie and Aaron Davis in Spider-Man Homecoming. Comedic actor Seth Green voiced Captain Seavor in Star Wars Rebels and gave the voice to the CGI character Howard the Duck in Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2. The spectacular actor Ben Mendelsohn played two major villains in two films. In Rogue One Star Wars Story, he played the incredible director Krennic, and in Captain Marvel, the newest film, which I didn't see yet, he played the scroll Talos. Now, it's no secret that Samuel L. Jackson starred in a lot of movies. He is, after all, one of the world's most popular actors. In Star Wars, he played the incredible Jedi Master Mace Windu, and in Marvel, he played director Nick Fury, the head of an organization named S.H.I.E.L.D. Actor Paul Bettany portrayed the evil crime lord Dryden Voss in Solo A Star Wars Story and the superhero Vision in Age of Ultron, Civil War and Infinity War. Though his portrayal as Vision, he does wear a lot of makeup, so you might not have recognized him. The actor Forrest Whitaker portrayed Saw Gerrera, the rebel extremist in Rogue One, and Zuri in Black Panther. The actress Lupita Nyong'o portrayed Mas Kanata via the technique motion capture, where basically she's like a computer character, in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, and played Nakia in Black Panther. Talking about motion capture, the king of motion capture is Andy Serkis, who portrayed Snoke in The Force Awakens and in The Last Jedi, and played a non-motion capture character, Ulysses Klaw, in The Black Panther and Avengers Age of Ultron. Actor Peter Serafinovich did the voiceover work for Darth Maul in Episode 1, and also portrayed the character of Garthan Sal in Guardians of the Galaxy. And finally, the last character who was in both Star Wars and the MCU is Natalie Portman. She portrayed the beloved fan character of Padme Amidala in Star Wars and the beloved scientist Jane Foster in Thor, Thor the Dark World, and I think that's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Goodbye.